Okay. Thanks very much for your uh, kind words, Andy. I'm not sure uh, I deserve them, but there you go. It's a bit like uh, after the Lord Mayor's uh, parade. I thought that was a brilliant, passionate uh, presentation by Tim. I've been fortunate that I met people from Blackpool Supporters Trust a couple of years ago. Come together almost by mistake as strangers. I look upon a lot of these people now as friends. And you are extremely blessed to have such a knowledgeable and passionate group of supporters who have led your fight. One thing I'm going to say is fans and supporters up and down the length and breadth of the country now are beginning to get victory after victory after victory. I've said for a long time, oh, I'm an Evertonian, I believe the greatest ever victory for fan activism in this country was when the justice for the 96 was got. And I think we all need to learn a lesson from what them Hillsborough campaign has got. They went out and they fought for the truth. They waited an extremely long time for that truth to come forward. When the truth was revealed, they had the day in the sun, they all patted themselves on the back, and then they all went back out and campaigned again with a new figure, because they're now looking for their justice. And that's exactly what you have got to do. You have got to go out, enjoy your day today, and I'm glad to be standing alongside you. And if there's any more court cases, I'll be standing outside the court with you as well. Because this isn't your fight. The fight and the magnificent fight you have just put together is for every single football club in the country. It's for every single fan in the country. How ironic that the day that you play in Pompey that a club that has gone it's gone it's gone to, it's gone to hell in a handcart and come back re re revitalised and re-energised. I'll not rest myself personally till I see Blackpool Football Club running out at, Z at Goodison Park with dead cars and in me. <laughs> <laughs> Stick two fingers up at Andy and at Christine and the rest of your committee because I only hate you for 90 minutes while you're playing. I'll pitch you every single step of the way. Enjoy your day and let's march forward and let's get rid of that cancer. It's time all fans of all clubs come together as one. There's a political solution here to the ills that we've all got in this game. We need to reclaim our game. We need to influence. We need to get into the politicians. We give politicians far too easy lives. I was sitting watching the England-Germany game last night and I was listening to the television pundits telling us about how good German football is uh, and, and talking about the Bundesliga and all the rest of it. Well, I think if your friends are is looking for a partner to come al alongside them in the business, I think he's got the ideal partner. He needs to be jumping in bed with Blackpool supporters trust and let you run the club uh, with his investments. Thanks very much for giving us the opportunity. been stood up a long time but we just want to very quickly mention something else because it's very important. BST we are going to announce uh, the Black FC pledge um, and I'm going to just get um, Robbie to give you a very quick <laughs> overview. <laughs> thank, thank you Christine. Um, this is not a new idea. If you've been coming to these meetings for the last three years, you'll have heard a variation of this uh, idea before. And the simple premise is, um, most of us in this room would, in ordinary circumstances, be willing to fork out 250, £350 pounds for a season ticket. And for reasons that are not our fault, at the moment we're not able to do that. Um, and the idea here is that if you can't do that, um, and you want to ally yourself with all the progressive things that are going on, why not um, take part in a pledge to provide that money to your Blackpool Supporters Trust uh, to push forward the various agendas that you want? 
Now, the paper that we're preparing, which will be circulating to the members, basically says we want to do two things. One of all, one of one of which is for you to pledge the, ma the major amount of that uh, money um, to be made available to the supporters' trust at some point in the future if they need it. And what we're thinking about there, primarily, is uh, when we get a change in ownership of the club, where the trust will want to do a range of things around. Uh, our own situation and the national situation uh, which may require us spending money and also um, presenting ourselves as part of the future to a new owner. So that's the first thing. The second thing is actually to provide a, a more modest amount of money to the Trust right now. You've heard an awful lot about how involved we are at the national level in terms of governance. There are an awful lot of things that we want to do in championing the local community, because this is a local community that really needs championing. Um, I wasn't going to go into a lot of detail about numbers at the moment, but we thought that on that smaller pledge that we might ask you at the lower end to go for 19, and at the upper end for 53 pounds, because both of those numbers have some resonance for us. But we also thought that we might offer you uh, an intermediate option, which is that you'd like to pledge 31 pounds 27. <laughs> Today's not obviously a, a, a place for taking decisions on all, all of that. We want to put a paper out to you um, uh, to give you a chance to have a look at what we're thinking about uh, and the reasons why. We want to give you your chance to have feedback into it to improve the ideas we've already got. Um, and we'll bring that forward uh, as soon as we can. But that is very much part of uh, putting, uh, putting ourselves in a position to look forward and place the trust at the heart of whatever the future of this club is.